Hey there, my little buttered biscuits. This is Betty Jean Baker, and this is the Betty Jean Baker Show. Today on our show, we are going to prepare a Southern staple, the biscuit. Now, if you have not had a biscuit, you have not been living right. Where, where you been? Where you been? So today, we're gonna make a couple of kind of biscuits. First, we're gonna start out with a real simple biscuit that even you dummies can make. Then we're gonna move on to a high level, upgraded, jacked up biscuit, the Dragzilla version of a biscuit. And it's gonna make you wanna slap your grandmama. The first thing we're gonna do is talk about a basic biscuit. Now, a basic biscuit, so, uh, <laughs> we're gonna start out with four cups, that's four cup self-rising flour. We're gonna add some baking powder into our self-rising flour and it's gonna make those biscuits go crazy. So we're gonna add, uh, I don't even know how much I just put in there. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking soda. That better? Then we're gonna whisk these ingredients together. Baking powder is a chemical agent that is gonna react to the acidity in the buttermilk. Just like you do if you have buttermilk late at night and you try to lay down, you get all acid feeling and you have to lay on your side and you get up, you don't feel so good. It's gonna make everything bubble up. Make these biscuits rise up as high as corn in the middle of August. I wouldn't know, I've never been in corn in August. Now we're gonna add some cubed butter. Now we want the butter to be real cold. What I'm gonna do is I've cut up my butter in little half inch cubes and I'm gonna dump them right here in the flour. Look at that, three sticks of unsalted sweet cream butter, God almighty. So I'm gonna put this butter and some flour mixture right up in this uh, food processor. Some people use cold flour too. I love cold flour. Sometimes I just use it to dust down my makeup. And your hands are gonna be covered all the time and it's all right, as long as you got clean hands. Although my grandmother said the thing that made her biscuits so good is she never washed her hands. And that was after years of eating those damn biscuits. <laughs> work. I don't know how to work this food processor. Um. Oh! So what we're going to do is we're going to lightly pulse this butter just a couple of times. We don't want to go crazy. We don't want to pulverize it. We just want to boom, off, boom, off, boom, off. And that's enough. So that's the whole thing. Where is it? It's got two buttons. I got it all covered in flour. I can't see what's happening. Oh, that's the on. I thought that was the on and off. Then we're gonna pulse. Ah, ah, oh yeah. <laughs> and now I need to go and lay down for a little bit. Whew, <laughs> it's making my wig slip. That we've pulsed it just gently a couple of times cause that's how mama likes it. Woo! After we do that, we're gonna pour it right in, back into the flour. See, now we have little pea-sized pieces of butter. Pea-sized. Then you get to play with it. Ooh, and mama loves to play with it, don't you know? God almighty. Ooh, and get your hands all in. Ooh, it feels good. It feels so good. Lord, it's been a minute. <laughs> you just get that incorporated in there and then you're ready. So, <laughs> God almighty, I'm funny. All right, so we're gonna go on and, oh, I'm gonna get, watch this. I'm gonna get some uh, flour in my eyelashes and then I'm gonna think it's Christmas because it's gonna be snowing the whole time. <laughs> God almighty, whose dog is that? Oh, get out of here. My granny said that anybody lets a dog in the kitchen is nasty. I have got um, an eyelash hanging down. Uh, Y'all, I got to stop and fix that, I'm so sorry. When my granny made biscuits, she swears you had to put your fist down in it. Kind of biscuit fisting, if you will. <laughs> I'm fisting this dough right here and I'm making a little well in there and then I'm gonna put my eggs in it. After you make the hole, you put your eggs in it. Get it? <laughs> I thought you would. So here we go. Then, my favorite ingredient. Now y'all, I can drink buttermilk plain. Anything creamy, basically, I can drink it. <laughs> Into the well. Here we go, well, well, well. <laughs> Ain't nobody funnier than that right there. Then I'm gonna get my hands in here. Now my hands have been washed, my fingernails are clean, and I don't have on my press-ons, so I'm not gonna have to be serving press-on nails and biscuits. Maybe a little wig hair. But that's okay. So then I'm gonna get my hands in here and I'm gonna toss it all together until I form a ball. Now I love a big shaggy ball, and that's what we're going for right here. It's just some shaggy dough. And we're gonna incorporate all this until it, but right now, it doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> I'm gonna incorporate this. Something is, y'all, maybe left out some flour here. Now what shaggy dough means is it's not smooth, like a smooth ball, you know, one that's been shaved. Then we're gonna get ready to plop it out on the counter. I have seen some people plop some things out on the counter before and that almost give me a damn heart attack. We're gonna put some flour out on the counter. Woo! It's like a cocaine party from the 80s. <laughs> mm, doesn't that feel good? Mm, can you imagine if something that big was up in your hands? <laughs> we're gonna shape it out. We're gonna press it 
into a big disc. I forgot my rolling pin. So give me a second. I'm gonna get the rolling pin and I'll be right back. <laughs> Mother <laughs> All right, so now I got a rolling pin. <laughs> Roll it out into about a half inch thickness. We have got our big disc and everybody loves a big disc. <laughs> We're gonna cut these with a two and a half inch cutter. But here's the rule. When you push your cutter down, you don't twist it. You go straight down because if you twist it, it seals off the edges and you don't wanna seal off the damn edges. Now I'm gonna lay this beautiful, look at that. Look at that biscuit. Mm, I could almost eat it just like this. Mm, but I'm not, cause don't eat raw dough y'all. That's a dumbass thing to do. So I'm gonna put it right here on the pan. Now normally you're gonna get about 12 biscuits. I'm only gonna do six. I won't throw away this dough though y'all. I'm gonna feed the camera crew. Isn't that right, Davey? You want some of mama's biscuits, don't you? Ah, well, mama's gonna give you more than a biscuit. Some people put an egg wash. Use a beautiful pastry bus. I can put my makeup on with this too. Uh, I hope this is the one that's from the kitchen and not the other one, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and like magic, I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna pull out some biscuits instead of your filth, your filthy minds. I'm gonna pop these in the oven on 425. That's a hot ass oven. I'll be right back. So we're gonna pop these bad boys right there in the oven. We're gonna pop them in at 425. We're gonna cook them for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown and delicious. All right, let's take a peek. Dude, Jesus, they look delicious. Look at that. God almighty, makes me want to roll around on them naked. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, mm. oh, Lord, y'all gonna have to excuse me while I eat a biscuit. I might even have to take my dress off. Woo! Next, we are gonna make some flaky biscuits, dragzilla style. So here we go. First, we're gonna start out with five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. That means it's for every purpose. That's what all-purpose means, all-purpose. I use it for everything. I put it under my arms, I use it for talc. I get out of the shower and I douse a little flour all over myself. Then next, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons. Come in! Come in, anybody, somebody get the door. Is that the UPS man? Don't open that box or you're gonna be shocked. All right, so I'm gonna put the sugar right in there and then we're gonna put a little bit of baking powder. And I remember I told you baking powder is gonna make it rise up. It's gonna rise up. Oh, that ain't the song. I'm gonna add a little kosher salt. Kosher, and that's so your rabbi can eat it. For all the ingredients, you're gonna click below and it'll take you right to the whole recipe. So that was one tablespoon plus a teaspoon of salt. And you ask me, Betty Jean, is that a lot of salt? And I'm gonna say, hell yes, a lot of salt. But we love salt. Who doesn't love salt? I could stand next to a mule in a field and lick a salt lick, I love it. We're gonna keep putting that salt in there. These are some salty ass biscuits and they're good. A half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm gonna whisk all that together. And this is a whisk. Some of you kinky ass thought it was something else. And if you're real fancy and you watched cooking shows like I do, <laughs> you make a figure eight. Figure eight, like you're an ice skater. I used to wish I was Dorothy Hamill. She did the Hamill Camel, like this. <laughs> you didn't know I was a figure skater, did you? We don't have any ice in South Carolina. One and a half cups of unsalted butter. We're gonna make big coins of butter in every layer. Here we go. I'm gonna put that butter right in there. And like I did before, I'm gonna dust that butter around with the flour. Now I know how to use this. So I'm gonna get, put this lid on this food processor and we gonna pulse it real quick. Bam! Just one, one more. Let's go, oh, 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 oh! That's all you need. Some big chunks of butter in there. Mm. Julia Child once said, somebody complained, they said they wanted to substitute butter. What do you do if you don't want so much butter? And you know what Julia Child, you know what that said? Then use some cream instead. <laughs> That's why we're all fat. Then you dump that right in there. And then we're gonna squish that around with our hands a little bit, but we don't wanna get it too incorporated. It, it's so hot in here. And the baking soda. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this, incorporate this together. I don't know what's going on. The secret to this dough is you can't work it too hard. And I mean, girl, you can work it. Woo, you better work. And it's coming together. Let's come together. You know, I've sung seven songs and I'm not gonna be in a copyright infringement because none of the melodies was right. <laughs> I hadn't been out to a club in so long because of this COVID virus that I don't even remember what music sounds like, but I can't wait to get my hot cooter out into the club and shake it loose. So you gotta make sure all the flour gets incorporated. Get up in there, God almighty. Badass flour ain't listening to me. Get up in there and do what I, you think a does what I say and they don't. I'm not like Martha Stewart. She got 20 assistants. That 
she just got to come in and had her hands on the dough like this and boom, there's biscuits. I have to work. God almighty, okay. A drag queen ain't got no help in the world. You remember who Tammy Faye Baker was? She was married to that uh, Reverend Jim Baker. And I was at the mall one day in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I walked up on her and I heard her tell some women, the more makeup you wear, the closer you are to God. That means I'm about to, I'm about to hit sainthood. <laughs> so I'm gonna dust my counter with some flour. So I put this flour out here, now watch. This is a high class process right here. It's like I went to that chicken cordon bleu school in France, whatever it was called. So this is called laminating. So we're gonna make a big, rectangle just like this and don't worry if the edges are loose we love it loose okay so then i'm gonna fold it over like a letter when's the last time you wrote a letter bitch hmm you wrote an email you can't fold the email so here we're gonna fold our biscuit dough in a third and then we fold it again so i'm gonna flatten it out and then i'm gonna fold it over six times and it's gonna make so many layers it's gonna you know like you like to sleep under a heavy blanket that's what's gonna feel like there's gonna be so many layers you're gonna take layers off you know when your mama said you ought to layer up she didn't mean biscuits she meant clothes but that's the same thing we're gonna fold it and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cut out some biscuits. If you like them thick and I like them thick. I don't like a short thick, I like a long thick. What's wrong with you, Betty Jean? Are you a drunk drag queen? No, I haven't had a drink yet. We got this dough here about an inch thick. It's crazy, watch this. This is how you make a mega dragzilla biscuit. This cookie cutter ain't even big enough. Look at that, look at that right there. Hot the mighty damn. My mama would have said, dude, Jesus, that's not a biscuit. What is that? You gonna play ball with that? I don't play none of that. I'm an artist. So look at this biscuit. You see how tall it is? You ain't never seen nothing this tall. Nothing this thick and that long. I didn't see it on grinder. All right, now we're ready to put these beautiful, gigantic Dragzilla biscuits on a pan. Now we buttered up this pan, we're gonna put them right on here. We just gonna get four. Can you believe it? You can get five, but the fifth one, just like your cousin, the fifth one's always gonna be the ugliest one. <laughs> we got four big Dragzilla sized biscuits. And before we put them in the oven, we're gonna put a little egg wash. Mmm, 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 creamy, mmm, creamy, creamy edges. Mmm, it's gonna be golden brown, mmm, delicious, mmm. Ooh. Ooh, I ain't had this much action since the beginning of Corona. All right, let's take a peek. Ooh, dear Jesus. Y'all are not ready for this. Look at these flakes, flaky layers and layers. Look, it's like a store-bought biscuit, but you made it yourself. Remember to click like and click on notifications so you always get my videos. You don't want to miss my damn videos because you'll make me come to your house. And I'm not going to bring you biscuits. I'm going to come and put my foot up your ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I split this biscuit right open and I put some good ass country fried chicken on it and then some thick cut bacon and then hot Honey, hot honey is a reason to live, honey. You don't even know. I could drink it. I think you can put it in your liquor drink. I'm telling you right now, I have a liquor drink on a Saturday night. I put this hot honey in it and I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Ooh, it's making me have under titty sweat. What I do, mm, this hot honey, I just drizzle that honey. I drizzle that honey like I'm on a date. Like somebody's covering it all in honey about to lick it all off. That ain't never happened either but I can dream, a girl can damn dream. So here we got the hot honey all over here, and then we're gonna put that biscuit topper right up on the top. Look at that shit right there. Mm, hot honey, uh, 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 uh. country fried chicken. <laughs> country fried chicken with some bacon and a big dragzilla extravaganza biscuit. You ready? It's gonna f up my lipstick, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't even know what to do with this shit. It's so good. I'm going to have to rebuild it. God almighty, that's good. Mm. Y'all better make you one right now, damn it. This is the real deal. Don't forget, I'm going to choke to death. Somebody bring me a drink. Somebody got a drink. Somebody bring me a drink. Can I have a drink of your drink? Give me a drink of that drink. <laughs> You know how country ass people say, drink of your drink. Can I have a drink of that drink? Okay. So anyway, make this biscuit today. Let me tell you. Check in for our next episode. I'm Miss Betty Jean Baker, the world's least famous chef drag queen. Y'all have a good day and check in on us again here. Don't forget, y'all stay delicious. <laughs> mm.